What makes the Tourtemagne Glacier and the valley so special is that we can actually observe several stages of the glacier evolution. We can see beautiful, huge moraines of 1850, indicating the outline of the glacier back then, where the glacier was quite a bit larger than now. And then we go upwards towards the current state of the glacier. How many glaciers in Switzerland? Most people, even Swiss people, would answer, well, maybe five. The real answer is 1,462. So there seems to be indeed a lot of room for improvement. My name is Jochen Braakeke. I'm a quaternary geologist slash glaciologist studied at ETH Zurich and I'm very interested in the evolution of glaciers. I work as a polar guide in the Arctic and the Antarctic regions and what I always notice is that they generally do not know enough about glaciers to really care about glaciers. So I strongly believe that before you start caring about glaciers and the melting you actually have to know what's going on. Oh my pretty baby Oh my sweetie baby I just can't believe I'm yours In the beginning of 2019 I've co-founded an association called Recognize. With our team of scientists and journalists we want to create tools to help you understand the glacier. We want to uh, move people to actually look a second time at the mountain panorama, observe the glaciers, ideally take pictures and share those pictures through social media, through our website, and so build up a database of glacier footage. We're supported by the World Glacier Monitoring Service. They collect the glaciological data from around the world, the glacier length data, the changes in the balance and the volume of the glacier, surface changes of the glacier. And we believe there is more visual and more intuitive ways of presenting this data so for people to understand it and to actually make these numbers intuitive and attractive. One of the projects I recognize is the Freezy Frame, which is a large-scale picture frame through which we can observe the glaciers in the background. Um, recently we have installed our first frame on top of Monte San Salvatore in Lugano, where you can actually see 16 glaciers. Through the dedicated website you can actually see the glaciological data in a very understandable way. Here at uh, Tourtemagne Glacier, uh, we've recently seen a beautiful example of the value of people filming or taking pictures of glaciers. Uh, with the collapse on the 6th of August, the lower part of the glacier is now detached from the upper part of the glacier, meaning the lower part doesn't get any new ice fed anymore and will very likely quickly melt away. The big, big moraines show us the outline of the glacier in 1850. Since then, the glacier has retreated almost two kilometers already. And now, with the collapse and the lower part detached, we instantly lose another three, four hundred meters of glacier length. Footage of a collapse as such can very much help the glaciologists working on the impact of climate change on glaciers and the further evolution. You can imagine that not every valley is as accessible as those valleys in Switzerland. Go to regions in Nepal, in Kazakhstan, and there are tourists, but scientists cannot always go there. What makes Switzerland special as well is that we can kind of study the future places like Greenland and Antarctica because around 20,000 years ago during the last ice age Switzerland and the whole Alps used to be covered with huge glaciers so Tuchtmanje glacier joined up with Brunei glacier but those joined together with the big Rhone glacier which eventually went down all the way to the lake of Geneva 
we are here in a very far advanced stage of the disappearance of ice, which can actually give us some clues about what is waiting for us in the evolution of Greenland and Antarctica. As much as I wish that we would indeed change our lifestyles and change the way we use our resources, I think we have to be realistic and it might not happen as quick as the Swiss glaciers needed to happen. So get out there, enjoy the beauty of the glaciers as they still are fantastic to see. Uh, and maybe, maybe you start to care about them a little bit more. the day we met, I just knew I must have done something good to deserve you.